What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Colorado Rockies versus Arizona Diamondbacks Major League Baseball matchup going down Monday, April 8th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure, make sure you check out my Major League Baseball season pass for 2024. Um, this pass is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. It's going to get you the weighting and rating of my plays. It's going to also get you uh, the late information plays. I can't necessarily release at Pick Dogs based on when we release them throughout the day. Um, based on line moves, money moves, um, injuries, uh, lineup changes, pitching changes. Uh, it's also going to get you access to my nerfies and nerfies and my first five plays. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, um, make sure you text 775 at 636 7674 and we'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Colorado Rockies and the Arizona Diamondbacks. The Colorado Rockies sending out Kyle Freeland to the mound here while the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks will counter with Zach Gallon. This is a matchup that we saw on opening day and it was the 16 to 1 beatdown heard around the world from Arizona, dished out to Colorado as. Uh, Arizona absolutely put the boots to the Rockies and put the boots to Freeland early in that game. It was a 14-run third inning that did the damage. Um, and that 16-1 to scoreline was up in the third inning, and it held for the remaining five and a half innings. So you know, now it's all about if uh, if Kyle Freeland can right the ship, if uh, if Arizona can can keep that going. So, you know, do I expect a 16-1 to blowout again? No, uh, I don't. I think that's sort of unsustainable. And I think we've kind of really seen the uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks take a step back. They've now lost four games in a row after being swept by the Atlanta Braves. A couple of uh, you know you know um, collapses for the team. You know, um, just letting one get away, and then the bullpen you know has cost this team um, in each of the last uh, in three of their last four losses as well. So I think that that's something that definitely Arizona has to work on, and now. You know, you're going to have to take an antacid if you back the Arizona Diamondbacks in a lot of spots because Arizona's bullpen has shown us that they may not be able to be trusted. But that being said, they still have a 3.34 staff ERA entering Sunday's action. Still inside the top half of baseball in that regard. The Colorado Rockies, you know, I think this team is in trouble. Um, Arizona, you know, they've done great against left-handed pitching. Maybe a lot of that had to do with their numbers against, uh, against Kyle Freeland so far this season. I mean... You know, like I said, you, you don't just give up that many hits, and it's it's really like a fluke for uh, for a guy like Freeland. They're like they just kept getting to him, and he just really couldn't get out of his own way. And right now, Arizona second in baseball, even though it's just, it's a it's early on in the season. They have the third highest sample size against left-handed pitchings in terms of plate appearances. Second in team OPS, uh, sixth in isolated power. So there's something to be said for their numbers against lefties this season. Um, on the other side of that coin, you know. Uh, like I said, Colorado, you know, when you look at their numbers against righties, you know, they've been decent. They're around league average in terms of isolated power and uh, team OPS against righties. But the difference is Freeland has struggled in his first couple starts. He followed up the 10 runs against Arizona with seven runs on the road against Chicago. And that's problematic because those starts were on the road, you know, where, you know, Freeland has, I'd say, pitched some better baseball over the course of his career. At home last year, he was slightly better, a 4.94 ERA compared to a 5.13 ERA on the road. But again, numbers like that are, are, are tough. And if um, if uh, if Freeland gives up numbers like that again, well, we could talk about the problems that the Arizona Diamondbacks have had holding on to leads. But it's actually the Colorado Rockies that have the worst bullpen ERA in baseball at 7.90 entering uh, Sunday's action. So. I got to go with the Arizona Diamondbacks on the run line here. Like I said, I don't expect a 16 run, uh, excuse me, a 16 one win again, but I do expect to win by a couple of runs here for the, uh, for the Arizona Diamondbacks to snap that losing streak and get back on track. So even the Arizona Diamondbacks on the run line here, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find us at pick dogs premium. While you're pick dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here. Pick dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.